Hello everybody, how you doing tonight? I uh, just got home a little while ago from my day program, I'm um, in week five. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good day, everything went good. Um, so I, I did end up watching that Mandela movie. Uh, someone left a comment in the comments there, they left a link. And I watched it on YouTube for free with no ads. But it took me like an entire day to get through it. I, I really couldn't get into it. I thought it was really trivial what they did introduce. And then they kind of made it out to be stupid, I think. But in the long run, hopefully, uh, you know, bring some new people in and they'll use their own discernment. And uh, hopefully, you know, learn a little bit more about it and we'll have some new people in the community. But, um... You know, and that as for the, all the ne negative people out there, they're going to probably stay negative and we don't need them. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that was my thought on that. I, I didn't really like it. I, I did find it interesting, though, uh, in the movie when he first, you know, learned of the Mandela effect and he was going on Google and asking about reality. It made me laugh because it made me think of when I first heard, you know, when I first found out. I too Googled, I was like, why am I not in my reality or why is reality changed? I actually Googled that to see what would come up. So I kind of got a giggle out of that. Um, today as usual, synchronicities all day. I, I just, I, I'm, I'm used to them. So, you know, basically, you know, learn to embrace your synchronicities, right? I said before, I, I think synchronicities are a way of telling you that you're on the right path. But not only that, I, I think synchronicities help guide you and introduce you to new things. Um, you know, like I was talking to my mom about something this morning and we saw a video in our group and it was completely related to what we were talking about and I introduced it to her. So in a way that synchronicity helped me help my mom. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um... Yeah, and then I, I had someone comment on one of my videos a while back about, uh, you know, commonality between the affected might be near-death scenarios, right? And when I thought about it, I actually had, like, I could count, like, a, a dozen easy. <laughs> where, you know, not where I was in the hospital almost on my deathbed, but where if something would happen slightly different, I could have easily died. Like, really close calls, right? So, uh, I, I, that could be another commonality among us. It also made me think of the movie too, right? So in the beginning of the movie, if I, let's say you took the first five minutes and you just cut off the rest of the movie until the last five minutes, basically where the little girl dies and then she comes into a new reality, bang, she died and now she, poof, she just keeps on going to a new reality like nothing happened, right? So that, that, that could feasibly be along the lines of where we're at. Uh, I don't believe that though. I have a heart. I, I, I believe that maybe we have commonalities in having near death experiences, but I don't think that we shift because of it or whatever. Cause then that would imply that all of us died and then shifted to another reality. It, it kind of seems to be a more of a personal level. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense, but that was just my thought on that. Um, Synchronicities, yeah, I keep on having synchronicities. I keep on having really vivid dreams. I'll uh, dream about, like, recently I, I dreamt about someone that uh, I was in a relationship with, someone I deeply loved. And then uh, I woke up and, and, I, and I messaged her and told her I just dreamt about her. And she's like, I just dreamt about you. <laughs> I wasn't shocked about it. I mean... It's just, you know, we're in a world of synchronicities and sci-fi. Sci <laughs> um, been doing a lot more uh, meditating. Uh, I think that's key. Um, you know, I'm grasping time has no meaning. I mean, we're already in a realm where fucking everything is, you know, not as it seems. But time itself is not as it seems either. It's a human concept. You know, 
I really try to live in the now. So I try to be positive and I try to be happy because now is all we have. Yesterday's gone and they'll never be here again. And when yesterday was here, it was now. Now is now. Tomorrow never comes and when it does, it'll be now. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So when you grasp this concept, then the only thing that matters is now. Okay? So I'm not saying or anyone else has to agree with that or do that for themselves, but it's working for me. You know, so I, I try to stay in the now and I try to be positive and I try to be happy because now is all that matters. And I just thought I'd share that. <laughs> okay, I love you all to each their own.